Say I'm grateful for not anything but everything. Every loss I had to take, I took it on the chin. We stood on our Come on, boy, boy, can you get it up? Come on, okay, y'all, it's day three. In Detroit, this I live in the game. what's possible. See what's possible. days later and it's Sunday so happy Sunday to you guys if anybody can guess where I'm on my way to <laughs> uh, I'll send you $20 now you gotta guess before you make it to the next part in the video so I'm, I gotta see about them comments but okay guys let me show you the outfit that I'm wearing Young on no one that back calling me splurge. Why me jump right on the curb? Bet this run fly like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. Solid, I'm keeping my word. Take me my equal, I don't know what you heard. Crack up the four and I swear. Keep me a stick of that bird. Okay, guys, so we're on our way to start this marvelous, healthy, prosperous Sunday. And. You know, they call Sunday, Sunday, fun day in Chicago, baby. <laughs> Ain't no telling. <laughs> Gotta work tomorrow. Been off all these days, like, for the holiday. Ain't getting no rest. How many of y'all got some rest through this holiday? Because I didn't. I ain't getting no rest. But let's go, y'all. So, hey, y'all. I made it to church, and I'm not the only one. Pastor Hannah got these parking lots filled like we went to the club. You hear me? Let me show y'all how everybody falling up in here for him. And it's his birthday, so he, I passed him at 60. Let me show y'all how many people here. See y'all in house of worship. Y'all be ready, y'all. Get your word, get yourself settled in so you can get this word in you. I'm sure it'll help me and you. God is fighting over a microphone. Mm -hmm. Everybody fighting over one stage. And it's only so many that you can reach on one stage. The call that's on your life is bigger than four walls. He's literally about to enlarge your territory. For someone on the South I need you to hear me. You are international. Mm. I need you to download the WUS app because you're going to have to make international phone calls. 
You have to FaceTime somebody in another country. But we out here now. We out here. A conversion of this man named Paul, his name was Saul. He's literally a persecutor of the church. He has an encounter with Christ on the road of Damascus. He's stricken off the horse. He's blinded. He's led to the back of a house. You ready? Now the question is, he's in a corner, shaking, because he can't wrap his brain around. How does a man that is educated, how does a man that was a persecutor, how is a man that knew the law, now blind and in a corner? Question, who is God going to send to get that man out of the corner? Who's going to have to be the next person to take over? Now I need you to hear me glad and clear. It's more than just a man in the corner. Look at me. If you look in that corner, there's a man that he's eventually going to write 13 books of the Bible. Mm. Until you connect with them. Everybody got to hear me now. It's called divine connection. It's going to be a click in the spirit. Some of y'all are in the corner and God's going to sleep somebody to you. It's going to be a click. I just want God to get the glory out of my life. Who am I talking to? Look at me. Look at me. Who am I talking to? Use me any way that you want to use me. But just get the glory out of my life. This is your hands and say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Who is God going to use? Who is God going to use? I need you to hear me. I am watching the church. I am watching the church get caught up in, in titles and positions. I am watching people. Everybody feel like you got to be the head. Don't nobody want to be the tail. Don't nobody want to be the pusher. Everybody want to be the main person. Everybody can't be the main person. But watch me. But they can't become main until they come in contact with you. You cannot be who you assigned to be until you come in contact with that question. And some of y'all, you keep playing people because they don't, they don't look the way you think that they can look. But what if that's the person that God has sent to push you? This is a physical touch, shut up, can boost your immune system. Shut up. And, and lower blood pressure. Say yeah. that you're about to witness comes from a black young man who grew up in poverty in Chicago. Wow. Wow. These are amazing. I never seen any artwork like this. This is surreal. It's your birthday. We gon' party late. It's your birthday. We gon' sip a cardi late. It's your birthday. 
on my whole name Only gets worse when you know things You don't see the perks of this whole thing But you get real on the pill and I like it You just like my sidekick, I just wanna ride Fulfill all your desire Keep you in the front, never in the back You're never on the side of You're a real ass woman and I like it I don't wanna fight You know I'm a rider, nothing left to hide, your other nigga tired Talk about you like you never leave a side, but I don't really fight Me, I'm moving quiet, all the things we try, and let's just keep it private Tell me, should I cut these other girls right out of my life, cause we never decided Tell me how you feel inside, you're a real ass woman and I like you Hey, my name is Legend, and my grandma is Tasha, and I want to tell y'all stuff I like about her. One, she's grateful. Two, she's kind. Three, she's funny, but she do too much sometimes, and she loves God. By this time, I was just done with myself. I was done with all the partying, all the bad eating. I had to talk to the Lord and just ask for guidance. But I'll be telling you a big fib if I wasn't enjoying myself. Okay, y'all. Back to healthy um, living. Today is day one again of me starting over for the 999,000th time. So I had walked and I stopped by a smoothie place. Then I picked up some fr fruit and vegetables from the farmer's market. I decided to come home and wash off my beets, my cantaloupe, my watermelon. I ended up putting some dishwasher liquid on it. Washing the outside skin. I ended up putting some apple cider vinegar. And then I made some cantaloupe juices. I juiced my cantaloupe with some water. Yep. I need you inspired. I need you excited. I don't want to fight. So I start meal prepping because if I don't meal prep, I won't eat healthy. I'm going to grab whatever in the refrigerator. So I end up chopping up some um, cantaloupe, putting them in some mason jars. So whenever I be starving, I could just go and grab it. Then I start juicing again. So I pour me some water and then I got my wallet in the chunks and I add them to the water. And then I'm going to blend them, strain them in a strainer and prepare some Walla Miller juice. Y'all have to taste this. This tastes like it came straight up out of heaven. Please, y'all, juice you some watermelons. I figure out you. How do we end up in a place in our lives where we become so similar to beggars? Begging for effort, begging for consistency for a day night and shit. Sometimes we beg for a good morning text instead of just the GM we get sent begging people to do things that they do not naturally or willingly want to do because if they did we wouldn't have to keep asking people who love you listen i think the worst part is that you would easily go out your way to give this person all of the things that they would not even give you a portion of we so desperately want people to show us sides of them that they do not see any point in allowing us to see but it isn't like we go in and walk away we love so much and make so many excuses for them is this all for the sake of love or our inability to walk away from people who are just not meant for us? No begging. <laughs>